Hiya! Welcome to LSB Feasters Radio Air Check Channel, where we keep great radio from the past alive. And today we're going to New York and 66 WNBC for an air check with Howard Stern. Yeah, back in the 1980s, a lot of AM music stations were pretty much dying or already dead. But 66 WNBC was doing pretty well, playing the hits mainly because of their high personalities on the air. Big names that were very entertaining, like Don Imus, Soupy Sales, Alan Combs, Joey Reynolds, Wolfman Jack, and of course, the one and only Howard Stern. Stern was on WNBC for only three years, that's it. But during that time, he created Must Listen to Radio for New Yorkers who were headed home. Stern and his annex became very popular in Afternoon Drive throughout his three years at WNBC. But during that time, Stern was doing a lot of headbutting with management, programming, and some of the other jocks on the station, mainly Don Imus and program director Kevin Matheny, who Stern nicknamed Pig Virus on the air. Uh, many of these conflicts were dramatized in Stern's autobiographical book and film, Private Parts. On September 30th, 1985, Howard Stern was abruptly fired from WNBC, supposedly due to pressure from NBC corporate. After a little bit of time on the beach, Howard got a new gig doing the afternoon show across town on WXRK 92.3 K-Rock, and eventually he moved from afternoons to mornings, replacing Jay Thomas, who was the morning man. Hey, give this a listen. If you've never heard Stern on NBC, it's really an interesting listen. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel. And if you have any old WNBC air checks lying around your house or any air checks at all, we would love to showcase them here. Just let me know down in the comments below. All right, let's give this a listen. It's Howard Stern from 1983 on 66 WNBC, New York. WNBC, 441 and NBC, and we've got that wacky ambassador's dial a day we promised you on Friday coming up in just a couple of minutes. Girls, hold on. They're all here. Hold on, girls. The ambassadors are here. That wacky uh, band that we met at the prom. The band of the 80s. The band of the 80s. Band I personally discovered <laughs> over at Show for Zen. Girls, you'll get to go out with one of the ambassadors. So just the, hold the on. The whole group. Yeah, the whole group, actually. Hmm. Sort of menage a ambassador. <laughs> WNBC. One day soon the best will come. WNBC 443 and uh, Encounter Traffic Reports Monday through Friday and WNBC. Sponsored by Chevrolet. Chevy brings you front-wheel drive and room enough to enjoy it. WNBC. Robin, of course, we have the ambassadors here. Yes, the, uh, and they brought all of their equipment. And all their groupies, all their girls. I tell you. <laughs> and, uh, of course, the uh, ambassadors. Why don't we get a spokesman from the ambassadors here? Yes. Uh, tell, tell all the girls your name. Hey, girls, my name is Greg Power, and we're here to uh, play for you today and show you what's going on. Yeah. And we're going to drive you wild. Oh, smooth okay. Smooth ambassador's <laughs> rap. <laughs> Greg is sort of the spokesman for the ambassadors. And the lead right? singer, lead right? singer, yeah. yeah. You going to be performing a couple of numbers for us now? Yes, I am, definitely. <laughs> All by himself. <laughs> now, Greg, on this date, the, the girls can call in and actually win a date with the ambassadors. And some of you guys, of course, are married. But uh, like all rock groups, you guys swing, don't you? He said it. My wife, Marie, said it, so it's fine to do anything I want to do that night. <laughs> also, girls, uh, a couple of the ambassadors, the uh, bass player, what's his name? His name is Vic Manet. Vic. Yes. Vic, the bass player, is single, and he's cute, girls. No, no Vic is not cute. Oh, Vic no, Vic is not single. Who's single, man? Bob and Danny. Bob and Danny of the ambassadors are single, girls. His wife almost uh, shot him. <laughs> All right, now uh, all the ambassadors are here, and they'll get to go to the uh, Cafe Versailles. Cafe Versailles. <laughs> oh, jeez. With uh, what? With you, lucky girls. When you call in at two one two. At least one of you will Two four seven eight six sixty six. You guys uh, ready to play a little? I don't think they're quite set up. We got all this electrical equipment to equipment to hook up here, Howard. I think they're going to need some time. Don on drums. Let's hear those drums, Don. Just give. Them Oh, yeah. And of course, <laughs> of course uh, Bob on bass. You got that bass cooking there? No, they don't have any power yet. And we got... Uh, Vic is still on the sack. Vic is still on the sack. <laughs> Blow that sack, pal. <laughs> oh, that, right. that famous ambassador sack. <laughs> That we all love. All the girls love this sack. The way he blows that thing, man. It really turns the girls on. And, of course, um, 
We got Mike on keyboards. Is that keyboard all set up there yet, Mike? Howie. Howie on keyboards. Oh. Mike Maz is on Oh, Howie's filling in. Howie single? No. <laughs> Let's hear those think keyboards, about man. that. Let's hear. Uh, girls, just think you could win a date with the crazy ambassador. <laughs> what a bunch uh, of guys. What because, a bunch uh, of guys. That soothing tone of Greg. Go ahead, Greg. Sing a little something. My love, there's only you in my life. Oh, girl. They're the band for the 80s, and you can win a date with them next to WNBC. 446, the police, and NBC, they are nothing compared to the ambassadors. I discovered the ambassadors up at the Stokers in prom, and I knew you girls wanted them badly. WNBC. UMBC. Lady from the Ambassador. I'm your knight in shining armor, and I love you. The Ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen. You have made me <laughs> what I am, and I am yours. Live radio. Live radio. Oh, the ambassadors. Ladies, <laughs> you have gone and made me such a fool. I'm so lost in your love. Hey, that was wonderful, good. That was good. Wonderful. WNBC. Hey, the ambassadors. Girls. They don't make radio like this anymore, folks. Really? Girls, are you sweating out there? <laughs> Is that thing sweating? <laughs> Absolutely. It is 93 degrees. Yeah. Hey, you guys sound good, you know? It's the ambassadors. We met them up at Stouffer's. Yes. Yeah. And I said, what the hell are these guys doing playing Stouffer's? Tell me, man, didn't that sound like Kenny Rogers right there? Didn't it? Close oh, your eyes. You knew it sounded like Kenny. All right. Really? That was Greg. God. It's unbelievable how you hit those notes. Mm. So, girls, uh, we're going to be giving away the ambassadors dial a date. <laughs> we're going to give you all the ambassadors. Yeah, we're giving you all away. <laughs> right here at WNBC. The people, the parades, the fireworks, the Harbor Festival, everything that makes the 4th of July the favorite holiday of the year that will make you wish every day could be the 4th of July. See it exclusively on 11 Alive, of course. Dun, 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 dun. Well, we'll get back to the ambassadors in just a second here on 4th of July. Yeah. It is 4.53. Here's WNBC News with Judy DeAngelis. Here in the tri-state area, the order of the day this July 4th is staying cool. And if today is a scorcher, there will really be a hot time in the old town tonight. Together, without a venue, we got one type. And Traffic Reports when you need them. Sponsored by Chevrolet on 66 WNBC. Judy? Howard? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't believe me, did you? <laughs> Judy? Howard? <laughs> Let's go on for ten minutes. Take it, Judy. Howard, did you know that this 4th of July, New York waterways will be filled with celebrating boaters? Well, they will be. And WNBC and the U.S. Coast Guard urges you to wear your life jacket because you never know when you might need it. WNBC weather tonight, hazy, very warm and humid. The lows in the upper to mid-70s. Mid to upper 70s make that. Tomorrow, back to work in more blistering heat, hazy sun, humid weather, maybe an afternoon or evening thunder shower. The lows in the 90s. And on Wednesday, partly sunny, cooler, and less humid. It is 93 degrees now at 458, and that's what's happening. I'm Judy DeAngelis, WNBC New York. WNBC, seven minutes past five o'clock, and five o'clock, and of course the ambassadors are here, girls, for dial a date. <laughs> Some lucky girl is going to get to go out with the ambassadors singing group. Uh, of course, the ambassadors. I met them up at Stouffer's at the prom. Well, you guys were hot that night. Yeah. What are you going to be performing next for us? Billy Jean. Billy Jean uh, oh, that's by our the favorite. ambassadors. That's our fave. Here they go. Those crazy white guys. The ambassadors at WNBC. <laughs> Win a date with the ambassadors. They're here alive in the studio. Well, she was more like a beauty queen from the movie screen. I said, don't mind what but do you mean? I am the one who will dance on the floor and around. Sing up high. Sing like Michael Jackson does. She said, I am the one who will dance on the floor and around. 
now. Try to sound black. Try to sound black, all right? I tell you, people, we're beginning to draw the a crowd, I tell you. On. <laughs> Boy, there, there's a new menudo, I'll tell you. The ambassador to WNBC. We'll come back and we'll get to bachelorette number one. Win a date with the ambassadors. Let's go put the basketball in the car, Eddie. But I thought we came to this hotel because Sheraton loved kids. We Capro, we're changing a lot of people's minds about computers. All the ambassadors, all the wacky ambassadors are willing to go out with you girls. Of course, there's Greg on lead vocals, right, Greg? All right. Can yeah. we give us a Ooh, little baby. Go ahead. <laughs> Sing a little something real quick. But the kid is not my son. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then there's, there's Vic on tenor sax. And then we've got uh, on bass, Bob. <laughs> what a group. <laughs> and we got Don on drums. Yeah. Dan, Dan, excuse me. Can't read that right. And uh, Howie's filling in for Mike on keyboard. And uh, that's it. That's, <laughs> that's the it. best we band. Who's your favorite ambassador, Robin? Ooh, it's so hard to choose, Howie. Yeah, yeah. mine is. Uh, mine's, I think. I think I like Vic. Yeah. You just like him because he blows the sack. Yeah, boy. I tell you. Man with lips like that can do a whole lot. Let me tell you. Ooh. I love the way he puffs his cheeks. Puff those cheeks, bro. Oh, I love it. Hi. Hi. All right. What's your name? Rochelle. Rochelle? Rochelle. Rochelle. Right. Like in New Rochelle. Yeah. Right. Oh, hey, honey. Where are you calling from? Huntington. Huntington. And you want to win a date with the ambassadors? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Have you ever seen the ambassadors perform? No. Mm -hmm. I've heard them. You've heard them. Lower your radio and let's get into this. Okay, slowly. All right. What we'll do is, you know, a couple of the ambassadors are married, but a few of them are single. That's okay. And um, you'll get to go on a date with them should you win. Yeah. What's, uh, hmm, what's your favorite song? Maybe the ambassadors will do it for you right now. They already did it. Which one? Which one is Billie that? Billie Jean. Billie Jean, huh? Yeah. Boy, don't they sound like Michael Jackson? Close. Close, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's the part after the date. That's the part after the date. Yeah. So, um, what do you think of musicians? I never dated any. You never dated any, huh? And what are, what, what's, what are you, Jewish? Yeah. Oh, you are? Sure. Oh, you're really? Well, a name like Cohen? Oh, your name is Cohen. C-O-A-T-N. Yeah, and what do you do for a living, Rochelle? Uh, I work in a nursing home. In a nursing home. You gotta touch all those old people. Oh, yeah, that's it. I tell you, that's rough. That's hard work. What do you gotta do? Like, uh, pick them up and stuff? No, no. It's, uh, I work in dietary in the kitchen. And it's like, you know, you give them an apple juice, and then five minutes later they want another one. Oh, yeah. Those one pain in the neck. <laughs> those old fogies. They're pain in the look, neck. Look, we're all gonna get old one of these days. Yeah. Dang, always demanding apple juice. <laughs> Does get to be heavy. <laughs> Here once it's not bad, but right. you, know, you make so many trips back and forth. Yeah, what do the old people like to eat? What's their favorite food? Uh, I don't know. I guess cookies and milk. Cookies and milk. <laughs> they kind of revert back to their childhood mm. days, I guess. I don't know. Oh, not like my favorite kind of food. Kind as you get older. Everybody knows my favorite food, of course. Spaghetti. No. What? Clams. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know, so. the great panthers are going to get you. <laughs> I tell you. <ya. laughs> so, um... If you go out on a date, do you, uh, you're not, uh, you're not, uh... Married? Well, you're not married, are you? No. Have you ever been married? <laughs> ever been married? No. How old are you? Twenty-five. Twenty-five? Yeah. Are you good looking? The best. What's your measurements? <laughs> not on the air. <laughs> Come on, honey. Don't be shy. No, Drive it home. Okay. Drive it home. Come on. What do you want to hear? Tell me your measurements. Uh, let's see. Thirty-four. Hmm. 26, 34. What do you think, Robin? That's pretty good. That is good? Yeah. Doesn't impress me, that first figure. <laughs> that first number didn't do anything for me. You're terrible. Sounds like my wife before... Well, you know, you know what they say, don't you? What do they no, say? No, don't say it. Well, if they say it and it's dirty, don't say it. Oh, okay. You know? I know what they say, cause I, because I invented half of those things they say. All right, honey? Hey, listen, on the first date, do you mind holding hands? No. Do you like to hug and squeeze? 
Depends on what we're squeezing. <laughs> yeah, honey, that's it. You're giving us the answers we like to hear. First date, you mind a little ear blowing? Ear blowing? Yeah, ear blowing, mind blowing. You like that, huh? I said ear blowing and mind blowing. Very good. Yeah. She's a regular uh, philosopher, isn't yes. she? Yeah. So tell me something. You, you, what's your favorite barnyard animal? Barnyard animal. Yeah. Uh, this is the fun cow? part. Cow? Cow? Let me hear you moo like a cow for me. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you moo like one. Come on, honey. Moo like a cow. Moo. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that was, that was a turn on if I ever heard it. I'd like to hear you move on my cow. I'll tell you, honey. All right. You hold on. I think you've got a good chance of winning that date with the ambassadors, all right? Okay. All right, hold on. WNBC. Uh, it's 516 at WNBC. Oh, so much fun working and entertaining you people on the 4th of July. We are having fun. Come on. We are. We love the ambassadors. WNBC. <laughs> WNBC 519 WNBC. Robin, tell everyone who's here. The Ambassadors. Woo! Robin's the band of the 80s. Robin's getting all hot and bothered with the Ambassadors. Well, well I right. tell you, you know, there's Greg and there's Vic and there's Dan and there's Mike. I can't believe it. Yeah, my favorite Ambassador now has changed to. Uh, <laughs> You're changing. Yeah, they're all so cute, <laughs> and they're all so talented. Yes. Yeah. So and, who's uh, it going to be uh, for this segment? <laughs> I think my favorite is Bob. Oh. Bass. Yeah, I got to say it. I got an emotional attachment to Good all choice. these guys. Good choice. Good choice. <laughs> all right. And anyway, it's 520 WNBC. I got to do a, a Moral Blanc wine commercial before we get to Bachelorette number two. And uh, you guys want to give me that Billie Jean soundtrack and let me sing here? All right. The Ambassadors. You don't mind, Greg, do you? Okay. All right. <laughs> So fine, it's the one that wine could be my one. Oh, Moro Blanc, I love it. I got to tell you, I like to soak my hair in it. Moro Blanc, my wine. All right, Moro Blanc, I love you. <laughs> People, the parades, the fireworks, the harbor festival, everything that makes the 4th of July the favorite holiday of the year. See it exclusively on 11 Alive, of course. Sometimes I think they're better. I really do. I think you guys are just incredible talents. Thank God I found you at Stouffer's up in Westchester. We'll get to Bachelorette number two. You do that Irene Cara thing? You want to do a little of that right now? See if you can tell the difference between the ambassadors and, and Irene, Irene Cara. Cara. Go ahead. First, when there's nothing. And that's Greg singing. That's a guy. Got a piece of rope tied around him.
sound just I thought you were Irene Carroll yeah. with my eyes closed. This is how did you do that? Wow. What a feeling. Irene's just going to give up her career after hearing really, this. Really, You know man. that, don't you? And by the way, Greg is all white. He's not even mulatto, and he sounds <laughs> just like one. I got the NBC. The mysteries of the ancient East appear before your eyes. Cheering the great beer of Japan. Imported by the Cherry Company. New York, New York. All right, 5.30 WNBC, it's time for our dial-a-date. With Radio's, the Ambassador. With the Ambassadors, Radio's dating game with the stars. Hi, Bachelorette number two. Yes, I'm here, Howie. Hey, it's good to speak to you. It's nice to talk to you, my dear. I've been holding and holding, and I've tried so many times. You know, I heard the tape. Uh, Greg's mom called me, and I heard the tape about the prom. Yes. And I sat outside and listened to the whole thing and going to do Wait a second, you know the Ambassadors? Yeah. You know Greg? Mm -hmm. Greg's parents live in my house. I oh. <laughs> How old are you, honey? Uh, beg your pardon? How old are you? 21 plus. 21 plus. Uh, Greg's uh -oh. father is 39 plus. Uh -huh. <laughs> you want to date with the Ambassadors, huh? Uh, well, cool. Well, Greg comes to my house, and, and I know Marie. Greg, you know, uh... Boy, everybody knows the ambassadors. Every, even this older woman is an ambassador's group. Maybe you weren't the first to discover yeah. them. Alex. So you don't have you don't have a husband? No, I'm not married. Were you ever married? No, sir. And, you, and you're an older woman. Well, yes. Mm -hmm. Not that old, geez. Do you, do you look all right? Hey, Greg, does she look okay? You look dynamite, like out of dynamite out of sight. <laughs> Honey, you don't mind me asking, uh, and you don't mind me getting a little personal here. What, love? Uh, one has to wonder. You've never been married, and you're I, an older I, woman. Is it? it I, I tend to think women who uh, don't get married and are older are. Uh, shall watch we say, it, Howard. Do. <laughs> oh, stop. What did he say? <laughs> what? No, I was engaged, and my fiance died. Oh. oh. Way to kill the show. <laughs> Bum everyone out. Ooh. Hey, that's a sad story. Yeah, well, it's okay. I mean, I have a big house. I have a German Shepherd, and I have Greg's mom and dad upstairs. Hey, did, he, did the guy who died leave you any money? No, I have plenty of my own. Oh. How'd you make all this cash? Telephone company. Stock. Stock? Stock. Telephone company. This sure. is a bright woman. Well, oh, all right. Hey, that's pretty good. I had AT&T. Boy, nothing ever happened with it. <laughs> I sold that off. Did yeah, I said to myself, hey, what kind of invention is that? People talking to each other over a <laughs> piece of plastic. Couldn't possibly make money. Oh, like a foresight. So anyway, so you haven't been with a man in quite some time, I get the feeling. Mm, well, a little while. I just came back from Vermont, and I'm going to Greece in September. Oh, well, Greece? Yeah, there's a lot of fun over there. <laughs> Don't get any AIDS, I'll tell you oh, that. Oh, stop. Hey, so, uh... Well, uh well. Um, hey, listen, I hear all about your baby. I bet she's beautiful. Hey, listen, let me ask the questions, all right? <laughs> <laughs> So tell me something. Um, tell me, ask me. Where's the strangest place you've ever been with a man? The strangest place? Yeah. Most unusual place you've ever been with a man. Oh, good Lord. I don't know. Nice dining and dancing. No, 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 honey. You're not getting the drift. Oh, yes, I are. You, you don't do it in a restaurant, do you? Of course not. I don't do it, period. Oh, you don't do it, period. There you go. 86-year-old virgin. Oh, Let me tell you something. <laughs> Ambassadors, you got any questions for this woman? Mm-hmm. Nothing? Hey, I think you ought to take her out of her misery. All, all five of you guys. You oh, know what I mean? Stop it, Howard. Yeah, you beautiful. Behave now. now. Let's see here. She's uh, a nice woman, and she called in. She deserves to be heard. Yes. What's your, uh... You got any, do you have a nickname? Lulu Bell. Lulu Bell. Yes. Yeah. All right, I'll give you an intelligence question. How's that? Who's Dr. J? Who is Dr. J? Yeah. Good grief. You don't know, huh? Yeah, from where? Podiatrist in uh, Long Island. <laughs> oh, stop. Uh, okay, let's see here. What else do Answer I how old President Reagan is. I like that lady. I love her laugh. Well, thank you. Oh, yeah, that lady. Lady's a big pain <laughs> in my butt. <laughs> Come on. Wait a second. Uh, that lady you like, <laughs> you like is a big pain in my neck. Come on, Howard. You love me. I do, I do. I love Robin. Love working <laughs> with her. Um, one last question. Will you do me a favor? Would what? you please tell Greg to, I have been asking him since I know him, to record the Beatles song, My Love Waits For Me. All right, you want Greg to do My Love Waits For Me? Uh, you, don't, you guys don't do that? Know, he, he doesn't no. remember it. He doesn't remember it. Oh. Honey, so you've never been with a man. Is that the idea? You're a virgin. Yes. You are? I was going to get married. And you mean you only be... Italian ladies, you know, we're not, some of us are not promiscuous, my love. That's Most good. Italian That's ladies wonderful. are promiscuous. No. That's a lot of baloney. Hey, Virginity I don't want to make... Virginity is on its way back. Come on. This isn't an Italian woman, though, right? <laughs> and I'm a good cook. That's great. An Italian virgin, huh? <laughs> boy, oh boy, I tell you, that is something. 
I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah well, that, that doesn't grab me at all. <laughs> and neither do you. But here's the thing. Um, Listen, I'll tell you something. You, want, you asked that other lady's measurements, but you didn't ask mine. Well, what are yours? 37 and a half. Yes. 24. Whoa. 36. Yeah. For an old bag, you got something going. Let me tell you something. I'd like to get my hands on you. For an old lady, you got something going there. Let me tell you, honey, I'm surprised you haven't been soiled. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. All right, your time is up, and uh, we're going to play a song here. And who knows, you might win a date with the ambassadors, all right? Oh, it's such a pleasure to talk to you, my dear. Pleasure to talk to you. You're a wonderful woman, and I'm glad you're saving yourself. I think that's a wise decision. I do, too. Yeah, I really do. Let's wait a few more years, all right? Just a few more. Right, okay. Good luck. Hold on, hold on. You want me to hold? Hold on, because you might win. That chance she might win, right, Ambassadors? Oh, WNBC 535. I think virginity is wonderful. Is this the Ambassadors or Journey? You try to decide. I could start dreaming about it Coming straight from the heart WNBC 539 and NBC and straight from the heart. Brian Adams. Brian Adams, I just blew it. I thought it was Journey. Man, I'm so stupid, I could kill myself. Uh. The uh, the ambassadors are here. The singing group we discovered up at the Stouffer's Inn, and you got to admit they're pretty good. <laughs> you guys are really blowing them away. I bet. <laughs> bet you're bringing us all kind of audience. Anyway, this is um, wonderful ambassadors. You guys take it easy. We're gonna get to Bachelorette Three in a couple more minutes. Right here at WNBC. Johnny! Wings Hauser, star of Vice Squad. Paris, Madrid, Amsterdam, Brussels, or Israel from CIEE charter specialists since 1947. The best show this summer, Simon and Garfunkel, and 66 WNBC. WNBC, the ambassadors of the Rolling Stones. Who do you think that was? Sometimes you get confused, you know, because you got you guys do any original material or just uh, just uh, other people's music. Right now, other people's, but we're working on a few tunes. There you go. There you go. All right. That's the way the Beatles better started. better than a cover band, let really? me tell you. Really? Let me tell you, you something. Some of that original material, we'll have to get you guys back up here yeah. when you work that up. Definitely. All right. From the NBC, it is 545. We're coming back with the Ambassador. Chevy Citation has 41 cubic feet of cargo space and room enough for five. Chevrolet sponsors rush hour traffic reports from the Encopter with Ross Frank on 66 WNBC. <laughs> Six of WNBC and uh, Denise. All right, on the phone is Denise, and she is bachelorette number three here. Just think, you might you might be the lucky winner of a date with the Ambassador Orchestra. Uh huh. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Yeah, these guys are cute, aren't they? Good. Yeah, they were very good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Woo! Hey, ambassadors, you want to do a little something like thirty seconds of a song for Denise? Yeah. What do you? Got? You don't have to whisper, man. You can. Endless love. Endless love. Endless love, right. Endless love to Denise. Oh, I can't make the choice. All right. Well, oh, what do you want to hear? Anything by Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons. You do anything by the Four Seasons? Sherry, sherry, I mean, baby, sherry, sherry, no, do it like Denise, sherry. Denise, baby, Denise, Denise, baby. Denise, baby. I like the way Greg's face Denise, turns baby. red when he sees a pie like that. Do you ever think like Frankie Valli might be Michael Jackson? What's that? I mean, the way I've never they both seen sing them high. Together. Yeah. Denise, uh, where, are you, where are you from? The Bronx. The Bronx. Oh, <laughs> yes. Well, let's, uh, let's find out your measurements. Oh, no. Come on, honey. Don't be shy. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just modest now. Um, 36, mm. 26, yeah. 38. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're good looking, aren't you? <laughs> what? Well, yeah. You are, aren't you? And you just want to be next to the ambassadors. This is the best well, way to... Well, what do they look like? Well, they look pretty good. The couple who are married look pretty good, and the single guys look pretty good. So you can't go wrong. What? I'm interested in the single guys. Yeah, well, two of them are single, so if you don't score with one, the other one will be there for you. <laughs> All right, honey? Which one is Greg? Which one is Greg? Yeah. Greg's the lead singer. No, is he single or married? Well, you're married, right, Greg? Uh -huh. Yeah, but he looks like he'd fool around on his wife. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll be honest with you. To tell you the truth, I think he'd cheat. Uh -huh. I can tell. He can tell which ones will cheat. So, um, let's get right to the questioning part of this. 
Yes, before okay. Greg cuts your throat. <laughs> All right. Um, ever uh, received or given someone a hickey? Sure. That is the most childish thing anybody could do. I like it. You like it? Yeah. You're still doing that, and you're 23 years old. Uh-huh. Ever been kissed against your will? Yeah. You have? Uh-huh. By who? Oh, so many, no. <laughs> Some guy tried to kiss you, and you were, like, pushing him away? Yeah. What was he, your boss? No. No, he wasn't. What do you do for a living? I'm a travel agent. Travel agent, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you ever, uh, ever taken off your clothes in a car? Come on. <laughs> Have you? My parents may be listening. Don't worry about your parents. They're all fogies. What, what do you... <laughs> oh, like the, uh, the beach. You're gonna, come on, have you? Yeah, changing yeah. from, you know... You ha wait okay. a second. Never mind at the beach. You have? I at the beach, yeah. No, have you? Come on. No, really, at the beach. Besides the beach. No. No. <laughs> Way to go, Denise. Ever, ever said I love you to someone? Yeah. Was it a guy or a girl? A guy. A guy? Yeah. You ever been married? No. Anybody ever asked you to get married? Yeah. Yeah? But, you know, I didn't take it seriously. Mm-hmm. She should turn her you radio You smoke cigarettes? Down. Yes. You do? Uh-huh. Probably smell like a damn ashtray. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> do I smoke cigarettes? You ever kiss yeah. a girl who smokes, man? It smells like an ashtray. Don't look like, at me when you say that. No, I've never kissed a girl It's like putting who your smokes. tongue against a... It's like... Putting your tongue against like an ashtray. Like licking an ashtray, yeah. Well, I'm hanging up. I don't have to call you for info. Oh, come on. Don't hang up. I'm just kidding around, Denise. Just mellow out. I'm mellow. I'm very mellow. Mm -hmm. Ever been pregnant? No. Mm hmm You're getting no. awfully first mother, huh? Let's see. What else? Uh, what's your sexual fantasy? Come on. I could say it on the air? Well, I'm trying to, you know, keep it kind of clean. Oh, come on. I don't know. Who, I is it, who, is it, who is it with? Who is it with? Yeah. Well, it's a number of people. No. Number of people. Oh, yeah, honey. Now we're getting. <laughs> Who are these people? Who are these people? Who are these people? <laughs> Mr. Ed. <laughs> uh, what? Nothing. Who are these people? Well, like you know, Al Pacino. You know. Yeah. Who else? The whole cast of The Godfather, right? Yeah, <laughs> the, <laughs> Donald O'Connor. The whole cast of The Godfather. I really? Know. Uh -huh. Hey, Robin's got the same fantasy <laughs> you do. <laughs> I read about it. Hey, so actually, this date would be perfect. Con, you know. This date would who? I said, you know, James Caan, Al Pacino. James Caan. Robert De Niro. You know, well, he was in Godfather too. Right. You well, know. since you're into a whole group scene, you're going to get the whole ambassadors <laughs> if you win. Lucky me. Yeah, yeah. Where do we go? What? Where do we go? Cafe Versailles. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a good place. I like it. Where the stars hang hey, out. Wasn't the, who was there the other night we read in the paper at the mm -hmm. cafe side? Remember? I can't remember. You circled it in the know. newspaper. Yeah. yeah. Somebody was there. Somebody famous is there. <laughs> Maybe you'll get their seat. Mm. Ever stolen anything? No. No? Yeah? No, I'm not like that. You drink alcohol? Yeah. Have you ever passed out from drinking? No. <laughs> no. Too bad. <laughs> All right. Give us your favorite barnyard animal. Barnyard animal. Yeah. I don't know, a lamb. A ram? A lamb, yeah. Oh, a lamb. Yeah. <laughs> All right, ba like a sheep for me. Oh, no. Come on, ba <laughs> like a sheep. Ba. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love it. That's right, number three, WNBC. 552, WNBC. I love when the girls ba like a sheep. <laughs> so unique. And this is Asia. We'll be back with the ambassadors and the big decision next. I never let NBC 556 and Robin, it's time for that big decision. I know, I can't wait. Some lucky girl is going to be going out with the ambassadors. Maybe you guys want to sing the answer as to who it's going to be. Who is going to win the date? Give them a little music. Give Greg some music. And, uh, maybe... Well, you have to do the review. Oh, yeah, here's the review. Yeah. I'll sing the review. What song is this? Don't give me endless love. I never even heard of that. <laughs> give me something else. <laughs> Gloria. Nursing home, nursing home. Her favorite thing to do is give old people food. She's never been married, and her favorite barnyard animal was a cow. And bachelor number two is uh, Louise. Never been married, and um, she's never even been with a guy. She's a virgin. She's like 50 years old. Well, you don't know how old she is. Well, she sounded like she was 50. 
bachelorette number three e, was Denise e, e, from the Bronx. She thinks she's good looking. She's given and received lots of hickeys. And uh, she's a travel agent, never been married or pregnant, smoked cigarettes, and sexual fantasy with a number of people, which would fit into this pretty good. All right, that's enough of that. Who's it going to be? Number one, number Say it. Number three. Greg, All number right. three. All right. Because she's into that uh, kinky stuff. <laughs> number one, you didn't win. I'm sorry you didn't win. Hello? And number one is gone. Number one is gone. <laughs> Louise, you didn't win. Thank you. No, you didn't win. I know. I said thank you. Yeah, better off you didn't win. It's uh, keep yourself pure, okay? I that I sound like a 50-year-old lady. How old are you? I'm not going to tell you, but do you think I sound like a 50-year-old woman? No, you sound like you're 19. No, sweetheart, I'm not 19. All right, listen, we got to go, but thanks for playing. Okay. All right, and of course, number three, you win, Denise. Oh, hello. You get to go out with the ambassadors, our new discovery, our new musical discovery. They're, they're playing Stouffer's Day now, but before long, who knows? It could be uh, the Club Bonet in New Jersey. You never know. All right, uh, hold on, okay? Okay. We'll give you more details. Okay. And don't forget that Chevy Chevette is America's best-selling small car, and Chevrolet sponsors Encomper Traffic Reports, morning and afternoons. On WNBC Radio, it is 5.58. Here is Judy DeAngelis, WNBC News. From here to the... Here the thank you. Thank you. I have to plug in first. Here in the tri-state area, from Battery Park to Bayonne, New Jersey, to Bristol, Connecticut, to Bayshore, Long Island. Folks are celebrating the 4th of July. It's 88 degrees now at 6.02, and that's what's happening. I'm Judy DeAngelis, WNBC New York. <laughs> Birthday, America. WNBC New York presents the soundtrack to Macy's 4th of July fireworks display tonight at 9.15. WNBC, 610 at WNBC, and uh, everybody's favorite feature is coming up, mystery guest. Damn, working 4th of July. I got bagged on this one, too. Pig Virus, our boss, says uh, we got to work 4th of July because we got to capitalize on all those people coming back from the Hamptons, Hal. He's a genius, Howard. Got to capitalize on all those people coming back from the Hamptons, Hal. You can't take the day off. You're talking about a man who did the David Susskind show. Just remember that. Yeah. Anybody <laughs> see our boss on David Susskind? <laughs> Sniffing all the chairs? <laughs> oh, no. What a maniac. And I work for the man. <laughs> we got a mystery guest here. He's real good, too. He a real is. talented yeah. guy. And uh, we dig him. And, Mr. Uh, Guest, Mr. Guest, you're going to have to disguise your voice. Yeah, disguise voice, okay? your voice, all right? Disguise, disguise yes. Disguise, right. disguise your voice. Okay. That's it. There you go. Uh, I like uh, a mystery guest who catches on fast. I didn't know I'd have to act here. I uh, didn't know that. Disguise your voice or else people get you right That's away. Right, you don't want you're that. You're giving it away. Yeah, all right. We'll uh, come back. Uh, the number is 212-247-8666. The person, who, uh, the person who wins gets to take us out to dinner. Oh, good. Tonight. Good prize. Good. No, the person who wins gets to uh, get an album. Gets an okay. album, all right? Now. I was searching for a light beer. The How Weird Stern Radio Network proudly presents Mystery. Mystery. Mystery, intrigue, suspense, and irresponsibility with generally juvenile behavior. It's time for Mystery Guest. 613 at WNBC, the station everybody loves. Station that we argue with more than any other station. I'll tell you. Station with management that'll put up with garbage from us. <laughs> A lot of people thought we were going to be fired this week, and we didn't get fired, so uh, that's pretty good, man. We're coming up on our year anniversary, mystery guest. Year anniversary here. <laughs> All of New York thought we'd never last more than a month, That's and we're what still they said. here. That's what they said. Yeah. Show's taken off like wildfire. <laughs> hey, anyway, Mystery Guest, you're going to enjoy this. Let's uh, give the clue. You ready for your clue? Yeah? Well, yeah? yeah, I'm ready. And here's your clue. Okay. He's uh, he's working 24 hours out of clip. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
He did. Yes, he did. <laughs> You're not going to believe this, but I have no idea what his name is, even though I watch him. You don't know his name? No. Hey, he's in the Enquirer this week. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look it up. Well, Look if, it up. if you don't know his name, then you don't win, I guess. Well, what, are, what would I mean? Uh, uh, you would have won an album. Oh, terrific. You give out those great prizes on this show. <laughs> High budget. i got to tell you, I love... Hey, next week, by the way, we're going to be giving out albums and whoopee cushions. I, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! We're going to go out and buy a whole bunch of them. The prizes are getting better. What did you say? I think you are the best thing on radio. I went to Puerto Rico for six weeks in January and February. And yeah, I that was bright. The most. What? And the thing I missed in Puerto Rico the most is your radio show. <laughs> great. <laughs> Are the Puerto Ricans friendly down there? Oh, very friendly, very friendly. Yeah? Yeah. Because uh, on the uh, subway, some of the Puerto Ricans start to attack me. Oh, stop I, it. Because I am the whitest white man in America. I, I would have liked to have taken either Robin or Roz down there. All right, all right. Since You're you don't know his name, you don't win. All right, go ahead. Oh, uh, okay. You know who it is? Who is it? Glenn Scarfelli. Glenn Scarfelli. Hey, you got it. Thank you. Oh, yeah. All right, 6.15 at WNBC. Glenn Scarpelli is here. From One Day at a Time, and, uh, of course, you work with uh, all those fine people on One Day at a Time. That's right. And then you jump and ship. You're going over to a new TV show. Yeah, I'm moving from CBS to NBC. See, I'm hosting a daytime Good. show with Peter Marshall and Leslie Uggams called Fantasy. It's beautiful. Hey, beautiful, babe. Beautiful. I, love it. I can uh, dig it. I can handle it. <laughs> and then uh, yeah, I'm moving over to another primetime show with Angelian called um, Jennifer Slept Here. Wow. Yeah, wow. Hey, you want, like, Jennifer to sleep here, baby? Yeah, we do. She's good looking, uh, Glenn. Yeah, she's gorgeous. You'll have a good you time. You work with some cuties. Yeah. Allie been, Bertinelli, Jan and Jillian. You've been linked with uh, some girls in the Inquirer, because yeah. the Inquirer is our Bible. You and, do. Uh, you read the, in fact, I'm in there this week, and, and you read the Inquirer. I can't believe it. It says here you're tuning up your tonsils for a crack at singing stardom. You're putting out an album, right? That's right. With um. There you go. Hey, it's going to be distributed through Columbia and Epic. A lot and, of young uh, girls will buy that. A lot of young girls dig you, man. I would love them to buy it. Yeah, don't buy it. Don't worry, I'll make some bread. Hey, please, thank you. Of course, no. uh, <laughs> of course, I've put out an album. Oh, did you? And what was it, what was it called? The list price is now three ninety nine <laughs> in most record stores. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I did put out an album, and what you do is you list it, like, for nine bucks, man, and see what you can get. See what you can get. And then, uh, if that doesn't go, you drop it down you to five ninety nine. Quick, quick. And now I'm down to two ninety nine in, uh, Washington. And what about man. Puerto Rico? <laughs> that guy. Yeah. I ask him. Get him back on the phone. See how much your album was in Puerto Rico. Hey, um, you win. All right. You win an album. How'd you know it was Glenn? Well, I figured out from the first guy. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He gave good clothes. The only clothes and the rest was easy. Who is your girlfriend anyway, Glenn? I mean, uh, they got you linked with that love boat, uh, babe. What's your name? Oh, Jill Whelan? Yeah. Yeah, but you said she has herpes, but I believe oh, me, she no. doesn't. Hey, he just said that. Did he I just say said that? that to me during the commercial. He said, don't worry about that, I was that, kidding. Babe. I was kidding, herpes. man. He said, everyone on the love boat has herpes. Believe oh, me, no. I've done two love boats. Oh, no. Really? no one has herpes. So she's, Jill right. Whelan does not have herpes. No, Jill Whelan does not. Beautiful. Hey, you learned something from all the big stars. Out of way, Glenn. And who else does they have you linked with in the inquiry? Well, they I, I don't know. I know a few girls and stuff. Mm. Well, have you dated them or not? Is well, no, I, yeah, well, Jill, I did. We went to my uh, one day at a time rap party. Mm -hmm. The last yeah. one day at a time rap party. Actually, I didn't know it was going to be my final rap. <laughs> but tell you something. You're a good looking kid and you're talented. You can do better than Jill. Let me tell you. Oh. That. Well, my honest opinion. That's okay. That's Jill's it. in L.A. She's not going to hear this. Good. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Anyway, I tell you what, if you want to, uh, you can hang out a little. We got a band here, the Ambassadors. You want to sing with them? Yeah, well, well um, it's up to you. I heard they were cool. Do you want to sing with yeah, them? Yeah, well, they're wise as saying yes. I don't know. I don't have anything planned. No. No? I don't, well. Come on. I'm wild, but I'm not, you know, crazy. But, um. Uh, I tell you what, let's play a song. We'll, we'll come talk back. About we'll talk it. about it. All right. WNBC, okay. right. 618. I want to know about Adrian Barbeau. Are you dating her? Barbeau, no. No, I'm dating her. I'm dating Adrian Barbeau. <laughs> I am the disc jockey of the 90s. This will be your pal, How Weird, WNBC.